Our advanced technology provides us with a very apt metaphor for how the world of our senses belies what lies underneath. Take a current smartphone, such as an iPhone, and almost all of us simply stay at the level of the user interface. We tap and swipe at the screen, opening up a vast variety of applications that lead us into a wonderland of angry birds, doodle buddies, Facebook, Instagram, Flipboard, ad infinitum. And in each of these little islands of entertainment, we become enveloped into virtual worlds, never pausing to reflect that it is all being engineered at a much deeper level behind the scenes by software programmers using computer languages such as Objective-C and Coca Java. The user interface is, to invoke Plato's allegory, our cave, and we don't even know we are prisoners to the operating systems which unwittingly constrain our movements in a pre-designed template. Aldous Huxley prophesied in the 1930s in Brave New World how we would be enslaved by a variety of amusements. Similarly, the app entraps us by giving us an illusory sense of latitude. As Zadie Smith rightly opined when analyzing the lure of Facebook worldwide, we enjoy the fruits of a social network without realizing that we are not living out our own dreams, but we live within one engineered by a 20-year-old something named Mark Zuckerberg. But even the programmers themselves are constrained within the languages they use, which are usually pre-given before they employ them. I remember learning Unix at UCSD back in 1984 and feeling a euphoric sense of freedom since it freed me from the mechanical boundaries of a Selectric typewriter. But then as I became more proficient in using the language, I confronted its own limitations and realized anew that I was also bound by another preset coding system. Even when programming, we sometimes forget that all we are really doing is manipulating a binary system of zeros and ones, which is the fundamental basis of all computation, brilliantly articulated by Alan Turing back in 1936 in his famous paper on computable numbers. And binary coding is geometrically portioned within silicon chips guided and controlled by the transference of electrons from one single point to another. What we are witnessing, interestingly, is a nested hierarchy. Hardware, software, programming, user interface, etc. But for most of us, we know little, if nothing, besides the smartphone's display screen. It is true whether we are using Amazon's Kindle Fire, Microsoft's Surface, Google's Chromebooks, or Apple's latest iteration of the iPad. We are surface surfers in the techno world, and we remain dutifully oblivious to all the subterranean caverns that lurk within.